Tilly's in a wrecking yard. Yes, your dick is bigger than mine. Unfathomable. What's going on, everybody? Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. <laughs> to East Alton, Illinois. A little chillier here. Uh, I am still loading up this dumpster and getting the shop all packed up, put into that trailer over there and parts of the RV, but you know, holy cow, the comment section of my last few videos are exploding. Eric, what happened to your Class A motorhome, Miranda the Murata? We're gonna cover that today. Alrighty then. All the specifics of this video, I want to thank my video sponsor. If you need a new roof, there is no better choice than CR Boger Construction. CR Boger. Now, back to the topic at hand. The question everyone wants answered What happened to my Class A, Miranda the Murata? Yo, <sighs> guys, I have made some poor choices. No shit! I have made some poor choices. <laughs> I have made some poor choices. Let me talk about the exact solar panel kit that we are hoping to purchase with your help. It's sold by solardeals.com and it has a price tag of $627. <laughs> some rumors going around and some of them some of them are true. I'm a con artist and all that of course all of you people think I pocketed the money or used it for tuition or whatever I'm gonna fuck you every thing that is ever said about me is true I hate roommates the students that go to Evergreen make anybody look good just it's true it's just true I was hoping to get in here it's a uh Definitely a private club. We're gonna go sneak into another hot tub. Or what? We still got Anonymously a... invited. Anonymously invited. <laughs> ah, you guys right. take care. Thank you. No test drive. Tilly's in a wrecking yard. Okay, you win. Everything you've ever said about me is true. I'm gay. I have three children. I spent seven years in prison. I prefer chicken nuggets and tater tots over steak. Coming through the Northwest in the next eight months and you would like to be featured in that documentary, you should definitely email. Bucks, let's go find a hooker. Fuck you. Uh -oh. <laughs> Look what I did. Let me just get everybody caught up here real quick and then we'll never talk about it again. Morgan's gone. Uh, she has completely emptied out my RV. Angela and I have uh, been talking again. I had convinced her that uh, she's going to be my new number one priority moving forward, uh, trying to give this relationship a second chance. He broke up with me. Over fucking text. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you piece of shit! Make my life better, uh, I have made some poor choices. I've made a lot of great choices also, but it's the poor choices that you're really remembered for. Well, I was traveling with a female who I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life with and be happy with. So I, 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 I decided to sell my RV and then I, 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 I put a down payment on financing an RV. Uh, I figured I was gonna spend the rest of my life with this woman and... Uh... But I feel like... I'm more angry at myself than I am him because I should have known better and I should have seen this fucking coming of ever taking US 50 because loneliest highway of what I initially signed to pay. That's my responsibility. That, that, that's on me, you know? Uh, she decided not to sell her RV and that's her choice, I guess. So um, when we broke up, she simply went back to her normal life where I'm kind of stuck with the burden here. I bought a camper van about this time last year, actually, and I said, the Class A RV because we simply could not get it back running and then we found a camshaft and RV prepper Wayne installed that for me and uh, we got back on the road. 
things went well for, for a little bit blah, of time at least. Blah, blah, uh, blah, and then blah, one of the things you don't know is that the water tank inside that RV ended up ballooning out and exploding, causing water damage. So this is another insurance claim that I have not shared with YouTube. It's just something I, that blah, I was trying blah, to deal with myself. Blah, blah, it did jack up my rates, but it affected the ability of the slide to go in and out. So I could no, could no longer use my big main slide. Before it was like, I could use it, but it's really noisy. Blah, 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 After the tank exploded blah, and popped blah, the floor up and the joist broke and popped the slide out, uh, that slide was permanently going to stay in as much as possible at that point. Yet, here I trek on. I keep making my business to the company. Uh, I keep saying that this is, this is a good RV. This is going to work even though it's way too big and it's ridiculous and I'm not happy. I kept trucking along. I kept putting on that smile and saying it's going to be okay. We're going to get it paid off. When we get it paid off in about six more years, oh, you know, another issue I had was with registration. Texas is a little weird. Uh, here in Illinois, anybody can go into a, a Department of Transportation office here and register my vehicle. You don't have to even have to be me that's on the registration. In Texas, not only do I have to be present every year and I have to get those vehicle inspections, but everyone listed on the registration has to be there and present. Now, I, will, I will say that apparently uh, Polk County cut me some slack. They gave me a warning and said that, okay, that's okay. Uh, your ex-girlfriend is on the registration. She needs to be here every year with you to sign it. Otherwise, you're not going to register. Now, we'll give you a pass, but next year, it's not going to work. So they literally told me that I will not be able to register my RV, my Class A, without her in person with me every every single year for the next six years. To my surprise, that was not something she was willing to do, so. In the end, what has happened over the course of the last few months is that everyone is just crying. He got it, his RV was repossessed. It was repoed. Because it's such a mean, nasty word and it makes me look like a piece of, you know. You piece of shit. I don't care what people think. The truth is, I voluntarily surrendered my RV. It was repoed. It was repoed. It was repoed. It was repoed. Now we're, I'm not really getting out of debt, but I'm releasing another shop bill here and electric bill and water bill, internet bill and all that and moving towards a more off-grid storage facility there in Arizona until I start my build next spring. And uh, we can move forward and go on awesome explorations in this RV. Of course, you know, the future and it, the property. I just, I, I'm still just glowing because I was able to close on the property and everything went so smoothly. And I'm like, I can't wait to get back and see Kevin. And you give him a reach around.